Hi there, and welcome to Neophyte.tv, the technology show for the not-so-geeky. My name's Tiffany Young. And I'm Ben Friedman. And uh, we have a great episode today, but just before we get to that, I just want to mention, I'm not sure if any of you have seen, we've made a few changes lately. Uh, we're now broadcasting in a higher quality format that if you have an Apple TV, mm -hmm. it's formatted for your Apple TV as well, and it's also higher quality on your iPod. Right. And we've made a few changes coming out with like high def versions soon, so uh, just stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed the new little opening. We have some new graphics on there. And uh, I think it's exciting. Exciting. The so. Apple TV is exciting and all the new iTunes formats. I especially like the fact that we're still free. You don't have to, uh, we're not the pay per prescription or subscription. That's right. <laughs> pay for a prescription. We're still I free. Something, oh, something, something else, yeah. That's so. right. And yet we're making the big bucks. It's amazing. Right. Imagine that. Imagine today, that. Uh, today on the show, we are, it's kind of a special show today. So you remember the last uh, month, we mm -hmm. had the MacBook on the show, Apple's new macbook computer yeah and i happened to mention to a couple of pr people that i know that hey we had this macbook episode and and uh, they said well do you want a case for it and i said sure send me what you know the cases you guys represent and we'll take a look i think we have 16 cases we have a bag rama today it's a bag <laughs> uh, yes <laughs> which is good because as we all know i'm a bagaholic exactly that's right i think you're never gonna have to buy another bag then Never going to buy another bag unless I buy <laughs> like a, a bigger, twister, bigger laptop. Because all these bags <laughs> are pretty much specifically yeah. designed for the MacBook. Mm -hmm. So it's designed for the 13-inch MacBook form factor. Most of these bags do have a larger 15-inch or 17-inch mm -hmm. version available. But the ones we're going to look at today are pretty much specifically for the MacBook. But again, if you have a MacBook Pro or if you have an HP or mm -hmm. Dell or something else, they have larger versions available. Let's go on the website and... Right? Right. right. So, <laughs> Tiffany hasn't seen a lot of these, so I'm going to be bring them out fast and furious here. I want to show you all of them because I love them all. So, do we have like a, a minute in a bag? About a minute a bag. A minute here, a I bag. Think is, uh, okay. is what we're going to be It's a bagathon. That's right. It's a bagathon. All right. Bagathon. How many other bag related words can we use? It's here? Tiffany and, and Ben's bags. It's a. Uh, <laughs> Oh, isn't that creative? Yeah, yeah. So uh, let's get let's get to the bags. All right, let's okay. go. Let's go. So let's start very minimalist. Oh, come on. Very, very minimalist. Let's say that you really just want the basic bump and scratch protection. Okay. That's all you want. Don't want anything too fancy. Then here is a a, a bag by a company called Radtech. Oh. Uh, Radtech. We I think we reviewed We've their little uh, Bluetooth phone thing uh, okay. last month. This is from Radtech, and it's a very nice black sleeve. What do you think of that material? It's kind of like a nice, nice soft. It's like a felt. velvety. Yeah, kind yeah. of a velvety. And what you do is you take your MacBook and you uh, slide a corner in here and a quarter in here, and it basically just goes on like this oh. and blends into our background such that it's now invisible. It's like a glove. That's right. It, it fits like a glove. <laughs> or like a sleeve. Look, now it's invisible. You can't yeah. see it. Um, what do you think? If you're just looking for basic oh, protection. very nice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a nice way. It's got a little logo in, in, uh, that says Radtech there. And I think if you just yes. really want to carry it under your arm, but you're worried about bumping into somebody on the bus or the train right. and you don't want a lot of weight. I mean, the thing weighs nothing. No. It it's doesn't. great. It's also not ter terribly expensive, 25 bucks, mm -hmm. uh, which compared to some of the bags here. By the way, some of these bags are well over $100, so, you know, they're, they're high-quality, high-quality bags. That's very nice. To get this out, they show you the removal instructions, which I didn't read at first, and I had a hard time. You pinch the back here and pull, ah. and it's a fairly tight fit, but that's what you want, I guess. Yeah, that's nice. All right, so that's number one there is the, uh, one. the, Rad, Tech the Rad Tech sleeve. Now... Well, I'm going to keep in line with sleeves here for a moment. This is a another sleeve called the Endo Sleeve by a company called Infocase. Oh. This guy is uh, $30. And again, very, very basic. Now, what this is, if you take a look, it's unlike this one, which is soft. This is hard. Give that a tap. That oh, yeah, here. it is. Yeah. This is like a hard shelled sleeve. And this is designed for, let's say you have a backpack that you really like or a suitcase or whatever, and you don't want to buy a spe special like laptop bag, you can drop this in the backpack. Right. And it turns basically any backpack or any case. I mean, you can carry it separately, but mm -hmm. it doesn't have any other pockets. It's mm -hmm. really designed to sort of go in another backpack or mm -hmm. in your car, down the slats, you know, place. And then basically, you know, you can take this and just slide this in. It's Again, got nice padding here, too. Really nice padding up top here as well. I mean, that is now, you know... 
Yeah, that's great. That's great well protected. Especially when you're, you know, trying to get just a carry on on. Yeah. You or know? if you want to put this so. in your check on luggage or yeah. your, your suitcase and you don't want it to get crushed. One of my biggest things about laptop bags is that I run out of space so quickly because after you get all the padding and then it's a bigger bag and then it's got the straps that smash in the, right. you know, so I think that's great for compact travel. So this one is, again is fairly basic, mm -hmm. uh, but very good protection for your MacBook. Also easy to get in and out of when you do the airport check. That's right. Very easy. Just mm -hmm. slides in and out. Yep. Like such. There you go. Don't very worry. nice. Thank you. Now, do we have a price on this one? <laughs> that is 30 bucks. 30 bucks. By uh, Infocase. Okay, 20, 25 and 30. 25 and 30. So we're still in the yeah. fairly low sort of uh, right. area. Yellow. Now, um, the next one I want to look at is we have some uh, always on cases. These are cases where you leave the product, you leave your MacBook inside the case even when you're using it. Okay. And the first one is also by Rad Tech. And this is called the. Um, I'm looking on here. Oh, this is called the Neo case. Now, again, fairly small and light. I mean, oh, neoprene. Check. That's the neoprene. neoprene. Uh, what do you call that? The, the wetsuit material. Wetsuit material. Right. Exactly. Oh, nice. Very nice. Okay. So basically, if you take a look at this guy, uh, the idea here is to put your MacBook inside, and it's got these little. Um, it's got these little. Um, what do you call these? Uh, little uh, st strap, little elastic loops, and you put that on the bottom. And you put this on the top, like so. Okay. And now, it's your Mac is inside. So when you, yeah. you, you close it like this, okay, and you can uh, zip it up. Check that out. Very nice Nice well. little, small mm -hmm. suitcase sort of package. Style. Right. The other thing this I think would be nice to have a little. I, I realize it's compact in nature, but right. having the strap that would go across just in case. Yeah, this one does not like have that. a shoulder strap, but it does have a pocket in the back that you can put a charger in uh -huh. or something. Uh, you know, if you want to put some some accessories in. Right. This the guy. Ch the chargers I'm making are really small. Yeah, well, for no, Max, yeah. I, don't, I don't know if it's around here. I don't know what I did with it, but the Mac chargers are are very small. So this guy, when you want to use it, you basically just leave the Mac inside. And open it up like that, and you and the case stays on. Mm -hmm. So this Protected. is a an, an always on sort of case. Right. So this way you never have to take it out. I think this is great for like the Starbucks. If you're running to Starbucks and you can just take it, open it up, mm -hmm. do your stuff, mm -hmm. close it, and and be done. And go. With it. Still got access to the ports and mm -hmm. and stuff. Now. Men, I think, are starting to get an idea with all these bag selections mm -hmm. of what us women have been going through for years when trying to pick out the right bag. I mean, because there's always a, a better bag or different design and different colors and styles. And right. I've seen more bags come out in the last year. I know, I, lots I mean, of you, bags. Can you imagine? And by the way, I know you, you say men. These are all fairly uh, unisexual, asexual. Well, but yeah. we do have a couple of girly ones coming up. Good. Well, so. and the thing, my, and my point is that the choices that men have are far greater than they've probably ever been when it comes to bags. A lot of bag choices. Yes, definitely. Especially for a bagaholic like you, you must be totally confused. Oh, this is, I love it. I love it. <laughs> My bag runneth over. Do you do you ever use the same bag twice? You know, yeah. I, you know what? What I do is I find one and I use it for yeah. months while I love it until my next favorite comes along. And I'm right. going to show you what my favorite is here uh, this time. Okay. Um, this is thirty bucks. All right. Still nice. not That's too yeah. bad for a nice mm -hmm. again neoprene wetsuit material kind mm -hmm. of case. So let's pop that out of there. Now, if you want a an always-on case, but something that's a little more substantial, uh, I'm going to go back to InfoCase. And this is the InfoCase uh -huh. always-on. And again, very similar, uh, but this one has these two pockets on mm -hmm. the front, just about perfectly sized for your, your charger in one and like an iPod or something else, you know, mm -hmm. whatever you need to put in the other one. And again, this is very similar. And uh, this goes in here. This one has uh, inside a little more padding. Nice, right. Yeah. Uh, if you take a look here, you can see there's some, some padding going on down here and some space, some vents for uh, letting the uh, air out and such. Um, goes in here. Stick this underneath here and underneath here, and it goes in there. And then this one's a little different. It has these... Plastic. I don't know if you can see them. Let me close this down a bit. It has these clear plastic bits, and I found this slightly annoying because when the screen is in there, let me see if I can get this in. When the screen is in there, it's actually um, 
it lies slightly on top of the screen. Ah, okay. Okay, can you see that? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it. There's a, a little slight mm -hmm. bit. Now, it's only a little bit of your screen. I don't know if you can really make that out. Very hard to see. There it is, right there. Can you see that? It's covering a slight corner of the screen. Not a big deal. Would that bother you? No. No. I don't think so. To me, it bothered me a little bit. I saw it occasionally when uh -huh. I was practicing and trying this out. But the, other, the rest of the case is really kind of neat. Again, you uh, do it up. It's like wearing designer jeans. I know. Yeah. Do you remember when this... You must uh, see the apple. You see that? Uh, I don't know if you can make that I out. am cool. There it is. Because I have an apple. There's a cutout on the yeah. back here. Make sure everyone knows you have an expensive laptop in this case. Exactly. So, you know. <laughs> but so again... Don't, don't go laying it down anywhere. Well, this kind of solves the problem you were saying with the other one. In the, yes, as well as the, yeah. this, it also has a shoulder strap. Right. So you can wear this. stays in the case. And again, when you want to use it, it's a little more protection uh, than the Radtech case. You just pop it open like this, and again, it stays in there. Now, I find, find that sometimes this uh, gets in the way mm -hmm. of having it lie flat, this, this uh, thing. So you can take it off. You know, mm -hmm. it's removable because it's connected half to the bottom and half to the top. So. I see. Yeah. Well, it's just, you know, when you're either traveling. I mean, I don't know about you, but I always have my hands full. Mm -hmm. I always have my hands are busy, and so to have something strapped onto me rather than in my hand is just, I find it to be easier. Right. So that's my lifestyle though. So I like this. It's a little more protection than the, uh, the, um, what was it called by the rad tech, uh, Neo case. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the same wetsuit material. This is more like uh, vinyl and leather. Right. Um, but it's a little more protection, a little more space. Got the carrying space on the back. Stays in there pretty good. It does stay in there really well. Right. I like I that. Know. It has the extra pockets too. The extra the pockets are good. And, um, I don't know. I find the, the, Apple logo showing through the back a little bit cheesy, but <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, this guy is, picture in there. This is $80 yeah. for this. So we're getting up a little bit more into the uh, this little more boutique, uh, pricier stuff. It's a nice case, though. It's got a lot of little extras on it. It does have a lot of little extras, and it has a very mm -hmm. comfortable strap, and the case itself doesn't weigh much. And some it's of these a nice cases, leather. Yeah. Some of these cases, the ad... ID. A little ID pack. Back. Yeah. So again, after they steal your laptop, they can call you up to taunt you about it. <laughs> I have all your names and numbers. I've That's got right. all your pictures. Yeah. Oh. What do you want right. to pay to get your laptop back? <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, we have one more of the always on, but this is from a company called Spec, and they take a different approach. It's not so much a case, but it's more of a ah. skin. These are the uh, spec. Uh, it's a, it's yeah. the, oh, nice and you're, yellow. Yeah. You're looking a little green today. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I slept my eight, I think. <laughs> so, so this is kind of like your iPod. You know where you get a skin for your iPod? Exactly. So let me show you. i tell you what I kind of. Well, I was wondering when they were going to come out with these. That yeah, was just talk, a matter of time. Talk for a second while I, uh, while I put this on. Okay. So the um, hard plastic. Hard plastic. Right. Yeah. And snaps on pretty easily. You know, I find that it actually goes on very easily, and it doesn't. You know, I was worried that it might fall off, uh -huh. but it actually sticks on there pretty good. It takes a little, a little bit of effort. Oh, that was fast. Very easy Let's to get it on. Long. So now you've got, and you know what I think is kind of cool about this? Obviously, now you've got scratch and 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 dent protection. Uh -huh. uh, but it also means that if you're in like Mac World or if you're with a bunch of other Macs. All the computers look the same, right? That's one problem with Macs uh -huh. is there's no, you know, they have two kinds of laptop. They're the Mac Pro, well, MacBook Pro and Mac. This comes in like five different colors. You can get it in red. You can get it in blue. It has all the openings for the ports. It has, uh, show, the, show the good folks at home. It has uh, slots to uh, allow for a little bit of ventilation there. Yeah. Um, take a look at this side. You can see. Uh, all the ports are exposed, so you can you know you, you never need to take it out of here. Mm -hmm. um, but it gives your Mac a little differentiation. It does, yeah. You know, a little if you personalization. Wanna, little personalization. Mm -hmm. It's an easy way. You know, a lot of people with the uh, Titanium Macs, the Mac Pros, they actually go get. You can get them laser etched. Now. I've seen that. Yeah, you can yeah, actually get. It's like your iPod. That's right, but it's kind of right. permanent. Try right? to sell that on eBay. Well, exactly. <laughs> so you know, when you get it, you know, pay, get you know. Yeah, the your name of your girlfriend inscribed on there, and then you break right. up. It's kind of like that later. tattoo that you got in Tijuana. Your right. Not a good idea. Don't tell anyone about that tattoo. <laughs> I'm still very embarrassed about that. And uh, thankfully, it doesn't show on the show, but uh, when well, we do our wakeboarding special. Good, make, good makeup will cover that right up. That's right. So, this is from a company called Spec. This is uh, 50 bucks. I mean, so it's not cheap for a couple of little bits of plastic. Yeah, but you know what you could do with this too is you could even if you wanted to put something in here, 
Like you know, a like a picture or I don't yeah. know, something to personalize it. You could you slip could it right in the case. Inside and, and squeeze it between the case your and your identification. You can put it right, you know, yeah. I don't know, something. Just thought. That's pretty cool. So there is your green, in this case, your green MacBook. In this case, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> that is I'm great. such a dork today. I don't know what my problem is. <laughs> you no. just have a whole day where you say like stupid things like all day. I'm having one of those days. All right. Now, my <laughs> personal favorite these days are the messenger bags. Okay. And very, very popular now are the vertical style messenger bags that hold the laptop mm -hmm. in a vertical position more than a horizontal position. Right. It's apparently better for your back or something like that. So the first one I'm going to look at is from a company here called STM. And this is a vertical, and thank the Lord, it's not black. All the other ones here I can just see blending yeah. right into our background. Okay. This one is kind of a green. It comes in several colors. Mm -hmm. And again, it's designed pretty much for the MacBook. Pop it open here, and you've got... That's nice. Yeah, you've got a little pocket here. A little secret, not secret, but a little pocket here. Uh -huh. And then you open up this secondary pot. MacBook slides in. Very padded. Very padded. Yeah. It's nice. And there's another slot for papers here, and that goes over and that goes over and it's still a fairly light package mm -hmm. give that a little tote yeah it's not bad yeah not bad at all do me a favor stand up oh. and oh by the way this also has a cell phone oh, I fixed uh, my pants oh. cell phone <laughs> pocket uh, on here okay. go ahead and uh, put that over your shoulder okay so we have the messenger style yeah and uh, okay. give us a give us a twirl here I get to move these over so we can see it Keep my chair out of the way. Okay, so yeah. now I prefer to carry these. I mean, you could put it across your, across your, you know, a little bit back further this way. Sure. But you know, when you walk, then it sort of balances. So I think the best Gives way you a little spanking? is definitely right here. Right on the hip. On the hip. Right yeah. on the hip. How does and that you know, feel that's very comfortable. comfortable. Isn't yeah. That? STM makes a very comfortable. And case. it's not, you know, it's not so much of a uh, big bag. Now let me ask you this question, good, okay? Small. Does the vertical bag, the verticalness of it, does that make it girly? Because it, does it look too um, much like a purse? I don't think so. No, I, I think if it was pink. <laughs> if it was pink, remember? that would be no, a problem. No, I, I think this is actually come a very on, come on back down sort so of like can... sage color. Yeah. It's more of a manly color. Yeah. So this is uh, this by STM, and this is called the Cargo. Uh, no, I'm sorry. This is called the Alley. The STM Alley. Oh, maybe the name might throw you off, though. Alley? The Alley bag. Well, it's A L L E Y, like oh, back alley. Oh, not like Alley. Not like Alley, like my daughter Alley. Right. That's right. Just thinking I have of a Allie. daughter named Alley, but it's a different Alley. But maybe that subliminally made me think, oh, it's kind of a girly bag. It might have. But I think you're right. And it does come in other colors. It comes in like a dark gray, which mm -hmm. is kind of nice if you want to. No, I don't more, think so at all. Know. I think it's actually a. It's, it is a little bit feminine looking, but I think it's because of the size. But the color makes it work. And, well, this is kind of funky. You know, it's also got this. Uh, this like pocket that goes over this curve. I'm thinking uh, travel documents right there. Travel documents. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. Your ticket. I mean, because that's like a perfect size for ticket and yeah. passport. All right. right so that's the uh, oh, like Alley that really by do. STM. And that is $40. And this makes it, oh, that's reasonably priced. Very reasonable, I Jeez. It's one of the cheaper ones of the yeah, uh, high this, poly. This makes it really comfortable yeah. around your shoulder. And did you see the home. iPod or cell phone uh, pocket? Oh, look at that. I missed it. Cell Gotta have pocket. the cell phone pocket. Right. Yeah. All right. This is my favorite so far. Okay. Let's so maybe on. it is a girly bag. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next. Um, let's move on to a couple more of the uh, vertical uh, style ones. So this is, of the vertical ones, I got to tell you, I think this one is. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. This one is from a company called Book. Oh. B-O-O-Q. Is that how oh, you pronounce that? Book. look at that. Book. 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 B-O-O-Q? B-O-O-Q. Book. Book. Bookie. <laughs> Pookie. I don't know. Are you a little pooky? Now, this one's uh, <laughs> got a couple of neat features. I like this one. First of all, it's got this uh, velcro y, uh, or it's not velcro, it's magnets. I wish it wasn't black. Can you hear that? Oh, nice. Can you hear that snappy? So you don't have yeah. Velcro to worry about wearing out. And it's got a really cool color scheme. This mm -hmm. is for your cell phone and your iPod mm -hmm. and a little pocket in here. Uh, in the top here, it's got a, or another perfect cell phone pocket or iPod, and it's got this. Uh, a lot of bags now are coming out yeah. with these pass-through holes, yeah. right? Where you stick your uh, headphones through there, and that way they right. they come out of that hole. If I open the main pocket here, doo, 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 
Um, as you can see, it follows that same sort of gray uh, theme here with uh, another pocket under here. It's kind of nice. And then you've got your main laptop pocket in here. I really oh, like the way I like that... the magnet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that... Is that a magnet or is it just, just the way it fits in there? I thought I heard... I think Oops. it just fits in there kind of oh, snug. Let's stick, oh, the, yeah. stick the Mac in there. Yeah. Bloop. And that goes in here. Now, this one is a pretty snug fit. Can I kind of put that in there, which is good. They don't, there's not a lot of excess room. Right. But you do, it is kind of a snug fit. Let me tell you what I really like about this. Handle on the back. Mm -hmm. But you've got to put this on. And again, a padded thing. You've got to put this on to appreciate it. Go ahead and put that over your shoulder again. I just say I'll be the bag model today. Now turn mm -hmm. sideways here. Maybe people can see. This, the way this loops like this, it's just very comfortable on your hip, huh? Very comfortable. I found it really easy to wear. Now, did you find this, you didn't find the, this sat on your hip too? Yeah. Did you think that you're a little bit taller, well, torso-wise? Well, I adjust and, it and, uh, and such. It's like you're a tall girl. This is nice. You like that one, huh? Yeah. Very nice. I would have to say, of all the bags, hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, this one is close to $100. Uh, it, this is definitely one of the nicest. Uh, I think I it's say. girly. You think it's girly too? I think you just think vertical bags are girly. Well, I think it could nice. be because this one is black, but it's the sort of pear shape of it. Right. Feels a little girly to me, but maybe I'm, uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, and that's nice too. The, yeah. the nice Take padding on the. Yeah, oh, yeah. Really nice padding on see the. See, on, on the inside, can you see there's a little indent sure right I for can your hip? Figure out what, hold you, this. That's right. See it? So you can see there's like little grooves here. And this is very nice padding. <laughs> It's nice padding, and then this especially sits, like I said, sits right on your hip. So this is the Book Mamba, it's called. Mm. And now Mamba, that's kind of, is that a feminine name? See, it's, Mom? The, it's the name. Mamba? They're, they're throwing you off. Maybe. I wish they made diaper bags like that with a little hip indent. I mean, because. Yeah, totally. I mean, that would be great. Make a diaper bag, and, uh, and uh, you've got a cup. Hey, here. these days you need like a laptop. Can you get a diaper in there? Yeah, a laptop, <laughs> a laptop bag diaper bag. Diaper. That's very, very modern. <laughs> so that is the Mamba by Book. And I got to tell you, that of the vertical um, ones, that I think is my favorite. It, yeah, I but have it's, to say, I really like but, this one too. Um, I think I would go with the STM in a darker color for a guy. Or, but, but this one, I think for, you know, the other STM is good for a girl in that sage. I, I'm sorry. I would do this in any other color but black. Just, no, this just one because everybody black. has pack. That's but, right. But, you know. Okay. This color. Um, and lastly, on our vertical, uh, I think this is the last vertical one we have. Now, this one is kind of specialty bag. And again, you may notice it looks kind of similar to some of the other ones in here. Mm -hmm. This is by a company called PackSafe. This is the MetroSafe 300. And again, I'm trying to hold it here so it doesn't blend in too much with our background. Uh, again, Velcro up here. <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? And there's not a and very nice uh, pockets in here. If you take a look inside, you can see here's your pocket for the laptop. You get so excited about your bags. I love these bags, and it's got some nice uh, things in here. Now, what makes this different? What makes the pack safe different than the other bags we've looked at is these are really designed for high security requirements. If you live in like an urban area where mm -hmm. you're worried about stuff getting stolen, or if you ever worry about, you know, if you're in a, some, uh, uh, maybe a school environment or something, I don't know, a college environment where there's mm -hmm. a high theft rate, this bag, it has a layer of mesh metal inside. Now, it doesn't weigh oh, much. I can feel it. Can you feel it? Yeah. If you squeeze it, you can feel there's a layer of mesh metal inside, and that stops it from getting slashed. So if somebody comes along and wants to slash the bag to mm -hmm. get into it, mm -hmm. you're going to have a real hard time getting through that metal mesh. Similarly, the strap has metal in it. Okay, I don't know if you can, if you run your finger along there, you can feel it. Oh, yeah. And it's a slash-proof strap. So we have slash-proof uh, cover, slash-proof Versus strap. unhooking it. Well, that's right. But take a look <laughs> over here. This hook is kind of special. It has a combination lock on it. And what you can do is you can take this and wrap it around like a tree or something like that. Uh -huh. uh, or wrap it around your desk if you have a desk at work, what have you. Put it back on here and set the combination. Okay? And you can also use this to keep the zippers closed. I see. So keep the zipper closed and set the combination. And um, then... I mean, that's going to deter any casual theft. I mean, you know, some guy comes along with a hacksaw mm -hmm. and really wants to get it, probably can. But kids or teenagers or anyone who just wants to, you know, do a snatch and grab, uh -huh. going to have a hard time getting this away from you. So you've got the slash protection that it's hard to get into, mm -hmm. and you've got the uh, locking mechanism here. Interesting. Very interesting. Do you ever feel like your laptop is not so secure? Um, I pretty much keep my, well... 
You don't have to leave it. Not really. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to leave it anywhere. I mean, at work or, you know, in the car or whatever. Right. I figure they're going to take the car first anyway. So right. let's right. get the laptop as a parting gift. <laughs> so that is, uh, that is 90 bucks. Okay. A little more expensive than some of the other cases, but you have that extra level of security, which I think is. I just, I'm, I'm like, I'm picturing strapping it to a tree or something and walking what away. What about your desk know? at work or something? If you have a, you know, if you have to leave your know. desk. I'm like trying to picture an environment where you go to work and have to strap your. We are very blessed here that we don't have to think about those sort of things, but there are people that, you know. I know. You're you right. have to think about that kind of stuff. And in that environment, I absolutely would like one of those. Yes. Okay. As well as some mace and a handgun. Let's talk now about. <laughs> let's, something. Let's get now into the standard sort of messenger bag style okay. uh, or, or briefcase style, horizontal style. And the first one I want to talk about, and I think this is, this wins my cuteness award. Oh, that is very cute. This is very cute. This is a bag from Marware. It's called the Sportfolio. Mm. Not Portfolio. Sportfolio. Again, uh, neoprene. It's, it's got that neoprene and they oh, call it, like and, and uh, yeah, I feel this rubber oh. pocket. It's, oh, that is so neoprene. Is this that is so very, neoprene. That is very rubbery. Yeah. And it, I got to tell you, it is. this is a very cute little case. In the back here, it's got your uh, pockets. I don't know if you can see here. It's got pockets for your charger. Mm -hmm. And they even tell you, like, put your iPod in here. Put your uh, Mac charger, you know, charging thing in there. And, it, you know, it's very designed for it's the perfect size for the Mac charger. I see. You know, so they, they do a pretty good job of, uh, of putting all that stuff in there. Again... The headphone pass-through yeah. slot, so if you have your iPod in here, you can pass your headphones. And then in the front here is the case, and it just is the perfect size for your MacBook. Yes, Take it is. That's nice. And again, it doesn't weigh too much, so you're not adding perfect. a lot of weight to your thing. If you want a really small, cute case with still a little room for stuff, I mean, I think you have a hard time going wrong yeah. with the, the Sportfolio. I like this one, too. Very nice padding on the... Do you feel that? It yeah. feels squishy. It feels like a... Gel. Yeah, it feels yeah. like gel based. I think that's it's, and it's very comfortable. Yeah, yeah. I like this bag. That is. Um, now, do you think this looks manly? It's, it doesn't yeah. look too manly to me, Ooh. but I well, yes and no. I think this one is very asexual. I don't think okay, this one so, is. Okay, so so you wouldn't have any issues carrying this one. No, I would have no, and especially because it's got the neoprene. Which me being a scuba diver. You know, I think this is a great... Because you're going to go scuba diving with it after all. Well, no, but I mean, you know, this says <laughs> I uh, have neoprene. I don't know what it says. <laughs> it says you're sporty. You're sporty. You're See, a sport I polio. swear, there's such a name association that you've got the total name association going on. Being that I'll, I'll be mini psychologist today. But the alley bag, you know, it's sporty. The sport bag. Now I carry the sport bag because I'm a scuba diver and it's got neoprene. <laughs> $89 <laughs> for the Marware it Sport even Folio. smells like neoprene. <laughs> smells like neoprene. It does. Make sure you right. get a uh, This next one, I think, is the girliest bag. Okay. And this Let's is the Cargo by STM. And uh, this is, I first of all, I mean, you know what makes mm. this bag girly? I mean, and I got to tell you, it's a nice bag. It's it's uh, very comfortable. I th we'll have you try this on again because okay. this is just a nice, it's one of the best looking bags I think we reviewed today. But what makes this girly is this buckle. Oh. Okay. So okay, this buckle like it. goes through the little hole mm -hmm. and then clips closed like that. And this reminds me of a throwback from like the 1970s. Right. Well, and that's very retro. Uh -huh. So this one comes with a separate sleeve. Oh, that's cute. And can you stick the laptop in sure. there? And uh, there is, it is. Again, there designed for it. So it goes in there ah. like that, and it stays in there. you got room for uh, pens and pencils. Got this funky, cool little side zipper thingy here. But look, look at, the, look at the length of this pull tab, okay? Doesn't that say, I'm a girly bag? I don't know. Does, that, does it say I'm a girly bag? What's the name of it? Uh, this is the cargo. Oh, the cargo. The cargo. Oh, the STM cargo. STM cargo. STM cargo. Do me a favor. Stand up and, and give that a wear. And, it definitely uh, looks a little more office-y, doesn't it? Like it's more of uh, a... office. I think this is, uh, I mean, it's a great looking bag. Let me throw this in here. I think it's a great looking bag. Now, would you do oh. a side like that or would you go over the shoulder? Um, well, I guess you could do either or. I would probably do. See, that looks really good on you. Give See, us, I... Give us a little twirl oh. here. I think, personally, I think it's too big for for what you, you know. Unless you're carrying all your for briefcase for full-on files. Yeah. I, I I don't think this works as well as the uh, vertical. Oh, you like the vertical one? I do. Mm. Yeah, actually, and I'm not really crazy about this bag at all. I I think I don't think it's 
I think it's a good looking bag. I don't even think it's good looking. Really? I mean, that's my yeah. That's my personal. You don't like that uh, mm -hmm. '80s retro look? Um, I think it looks like I should be wearing some corduroy pants. All right. And uh, I, I don't know. There's just something about this this look that I'm not crazy about now. That is the cargo, and that is ninety nine dollars. So it's not a cheap bag. Ninety nine. Ninety nine. It's got some nice uh, materials, leather and such, in there, and as as well. Um, I think it's a very well made bag. It is a well made bag. I have to. But agree come on, it's totally that, girly. But... It's totally girly. Let's just let's just put it out there. <laughs> this is a girly bag, and guys. Yeah, it's I'll the say it's, it's, it's the girly. clasp, the clasp on the front. Right. That is a girly bag clasp. I'm sorry. Well. And you went, oh, and a, and a girly, and the, the girly, girly bag pull tie. Pull tie. <laughs> that pull tie is like four inches long. Yeah, it's, um, I, I don't know, something, yeah, I'm not, it's comfortable though. All right, Moving we're getting on. through them here. The uh, the next one is, now really? this is another specialty bag. How many more bags do we have over there? I think we got uh, a few more. Wow. Yeah. This is a really cool bag. Now this is a total guy bag. I cannot imagine a woman The Red Cross. It. Yep, this is the uh, pass through for the headphones uh -huh. on here. So this is like from a company called Voltaic. And you may notice these cool <gasps> things oh. on the back. Now what these are, are solar panels. <laughs> okay, this is the Voltaic messenger bag. And basically what you do is, so this pocket here is just, this is your pocket for your laptop. Mm -hmm. And it comes with a nice chunk of protection in there. It's very, very normal. But what makes this bag special are these Voltaic cells. And I don't know if you can see, there's actually a red light on the top here. Can I see, see that? it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that whenever you have this under lights, it, uh, it lights up to show you that it's charging. These are solar panels. And what you can do is... Okay, if you have nothing in here, the solar panels actually charge up this little battery. Oh, yeah. neat. And this battery is also, by the way, an emergency light. Let me see if I can turn that on. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's pretty bright for an emergency light. So a little emergency light there. But what you can also do is you can plug in, a, there's a 12-volt charger here. Uh -huh. There's a, a, a power outlet, and it comes with a bunch of tips for your phone. Wow. So you can put your phone in here or your iPod in here. Uh -huh. And if you're cycling around or you're walking somewhere sunny, which, you know, we're in Phoenix here. Uh-huh. It keeps your iPod charged, keeps your cell phone charged. That's amazing. Yeah. You ever run out of batteries on your cell phone? Uh. uh. So you put this in here. You know what you could do is, I know you leave your, I don't know if you leave your cell phone in the car that much, but if you're in the car, you could put this on the back dash or you could put it on the front, wherever yeah. it's going to be exposed to light, mm -hmm. and charge your cell phone. I'm surprised they don't have this on survival gear. Do you think that would be an ideal place for any survival backpacks and stuff? Yeah. Out in the middle of nowhere because you know, when you're out I mean, in the middle, when you're surviving in the middle of the desert, you've got to have your cell phone and well, you've got yeah. to have your iPod. I mean, at least you can climb to the nearest mountain peak and get try to get the signal. God forbid you should <laughs> run out of your favorite playlist whilst you know, hey, you got to keep that motivation in, in going, jungle. right? <laughs> or trade, right? Trade with the natives, <laughs> $199. For this. Ah, okay. A little more expensive, but look at the functionality you're getting here. And you're green. This is the Al Gore special. I see. No emissions mm -hmm. are are mm -hmm. generated uh, with this. Right. Are these I, should be all like recyclable materials? That I don't know. I don't, know. I don't think so. <laughs> but yeah, this would be good for survival. Yeah, but this is a guy, guy's laptop, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Total guy's this, laptop. This is total guy's. So this is the Voltaic so messenger bag. It's a little bit heavier. Of they course, have backpacks it's got too. That, well, it's got that battery in it too. Yeah, this is very creative though. I, I like think it. it's a really cool use of a yeah. technology. And I like the little LED on top. And I like the fact that it's a little flashlight. And I love that it's got the green. Yeah. Very nice. So because you've got that battery in there, even when you're out of the sun, it'll still charge your, you know. So, you know, you leave this in the car. Mm -hmm. You leave this in the car when, yeah. even if you're away and you've got your cell phone with right. you, it'll charge that, it'll charge this little battery pack. Mm -hmm. Right, and then you can use this battery pack to charge your cell phone, even at, you know at night or when mm -hmm. it's when it's dark. And again, it comes with all the camping. Tips. That'd be another great one, camping, wouldn't it? Yeah, gotta take your laptop camping. Well, I mean, hey, sure. if you can use your you know your mobile phone to get a signal, you could be right. Wi-Fi anywhere. Definitely. All right, and this brings it now. I think of the messenger bags. I think this one is just about my uh, my favorite. Uh, that looks very much like a guy bag. Yes. Well, and yet it's by Brent Haven, which oh, like Brent Haven thing. makes a lot of girl. I think they make a lot of. Don't they make purses and stuff? And what's the name of it? Brent Haven. I think they make Brent early think, stuff. Do they make shoes? I don't think they make shoes. No. Now it's a little bigger mm -hmm. than yes, it is. you know. It's so it's definitely designed for. Putting other stuff in stuff as well, mm -hmm. um, but I really like the design. Again, you've got pockets here on the front. Inside, you've got a little bit of uh, uh, room in here, and then you can flip this open, 
And there's like a little trap door on top here that has little bits of uh, padding. And then it has pads on the side. Stick your hand in there. Feel the sides. Feel the padding oh, on the oh, sides? Oh, goodness. Yeah. My goodness. Padding on the sides. Lots of padding right. in there. So this just drops in like so. Stays in there a while and, and closes up. It's very padded. Yeah. And then this goes forward, and it's got uh, uh, standard sort of clasps. Go ahead and stand up and put that on. And people, I think, will see that it's a little bit bigger. Definitely bigger. But I think it's much more office-y, and I think this is much more guy-y as well. I, this is I a like big this. bag. Yeah. See, now I think, personally, I think... Is it too big for you? It's a waste of space. I mean... Not me. I, I like this one. Yeah, I know. But for me, I think that... I mean, the padding's nice, but there was as much padding in some of the other bags as there was on this one. Yeah, but I think you if you want to carry extra stuff... Yeah, but there's not a lot of, a lot of room for well, extra now, stuff. Well, that's a good thing you mentioned that. Let me show you something <laughs> cool about the Brent Haven case. <laughs> and this is called the Brent Haven MB, which I assume means messenger bag. Brent Haven MB Fusion. Now this is cool. I was I took this uh, to Vegas on a to a trade show recently, and oh, you use this one. I used yeah. this bag, and it was like an overnight thing, so I needed to carry some clothes. But as you say, inside there's not a whole lot of room, mm -hmm. and I wanted to carry just like a change of uh, shirt and 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 um, when to wear. Right. So <laughs> here's what's kind of cool about this. Do you notice there is a a, a slit oh, here in the okay. side. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see that. I do. But if I take this, it's an accordion bag, and unzip it all the way around, which is easier to do when your laptop isn't actually inside it. Okay, that expands like another two inches. Okay, oh, okay. like that. Yeah. And that gives you plenty of room inside for putting in, you know, a little more stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. And another kind of cool feature as well. So, so I, Wait, I have my more. shirt and underwear in here along with my laptop. And uh -huh. I didn't have to take a second back. I'm walking around on the trade show floor. I'm really thirsty. Okay. <laughs> Wait, there's, there's more. There's another pocket here on the <laughs> side. And if you take a look, this is kind of neat. Out pops a oh. cup holder that you can put a bottle in. A bottle holder. Seriously? Does that really, that really hold your cups take and whatever? Well, it holds a bottle. Wow. And when you don't want it, That's you don't cool. want that thing hanging off the side. Right. You just tuck it back away in this pocket, uh -huh. you know, and, uh, and zip it back up again. So what, the reason this got my, like, favorite of, of all the messengers uh, that we're looking at today, and I actually, I like them all, but this one has, I think it's the most versatile, but it's also the biggest. So I can see why for mm -hmm. someone like yourself, <laughs> perhaps it's not as nice as some of the smaller ones. This is a great guy bag. Brent Haven MB Fusion. Price is uh, about fifty bucks. Not too, oh, not too expensive. Oh, that's pretty inexpensive. Yeah, yeah. I actually I was found, expecting like one twenty-ish. Well, 20 -ish well range. what's odd is I actually found this at like ninety-nine dollars at one place, and then huh? sixty-nine another place. It was it was very much a a a, a lot of different prices. By the way, I, I don't know if people have noticed here. We've got the uh, uh, the we still got the green spec. Mm -hmm. see-through case on here and again it still fits in all the bags it does yeah i like this and case and finally i'm gonna this Grand is the finale. last one we've got today the last one and i uh, this is now my favorite backpack my favorite backpack. i like the colors so this is a the the a backpack from a company called in case um and this is the in case i've got it written here somewhere um, in case ripstop backpack. Now it's a hundred dollars, which for a backpack is not cheap, right? But it's just first of all, it's very light. Pick it up. As backpacks oh go. Oh my gosh, that is that, so light. That is a very light. Uh, light I'm backpack. so surprised. This one will yeah. fit the uh, a, a 13 or a 15 inch uh, notebook. Okay. And again, you've got your front pocket here. That's got all the usual accoutrements. You've got the little pass through mm -hmm. port up here. You got a special little. Uh, place for the podcast, you know, for your um, iPod. Right. So you got a little bit of room in there if you want to put some, some, you know, some more stuff inside. And then here is the main pocket. And I have to tell you. Oh, I like this bag. Very plush. Stick your hand in the laptop pocket there. Oh. Oh, what do you feel? What do you feel? It's soft. Very soft. It's, it's like, like it's, velvet. It's like it's fur. Like a, it's like furry. inside here. Uh, and, it, you know, you can't really see it, but uh, it's just It's a like those blankets that you uh, that you get that it's are like so cuddly. It's like kind of fleecy, like, soft yeah. fleece or what have you. Um, just a very, very nice 
feeling. A lot of good protection on mm -hmm. here. I like this bag. Yeah, it's a very nice bag, and uh, it's got, again, it's, it's big. So it's not, if you're not carrying a, la a backpack every day, it's right. not as nice as some of the smaller bags. Do me a favor. Can you put this on? Well, yes, I can then. Should be, uh, it's probably maybe a little big. Yeah. All right. So there we go. And uh, buckle it down. Yeah. Give us a twirl backwards here. There it is. I guess we're a little bit off the side here, but I mean, it looks oh, pretty big on you. It's not, it's not. It's not a small little girly backpack. No, but you know, I like the the design's nice. I think nice color. Definitely nice color. Yeah, this could green. be a girl or a, a boy bag. Yeah, I for agree. sure. I think it's it got, got the little chest strappy here. Mm -hmm. And if you're so if you're carrying stuff for a long time, you can uh, flick that up. This actually sits okay too. Yeah. Well, some of these don't really sit right, but this one's well, okay. you're you've got this one's okay. Yeah. Well, they're not always designed for women. I'll just leave it at that. Let's just uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, very nice. Very nice bag. I think uh, it's a uh, of the backpacks that I've seen. This is my new favorite. It's mm -hmm. a beautiful backpack, easy to carry stuff around. It's got with. the little zippy, little special compartments in here. Yeah, show it to the camera. Hey, turn it, turn it this way. There, there we go. go. What are you looking at here? Oh, yeah, so little it's special, little uh, special little special pockets here for change or memory cards or something. Yeah. Oh, memory cards. That's a good idea. Memory cards. Mm. Oh, and they're inside when you put it on, so you can't really, you know, they're very right. secure. Money. Again, it's got padding in the back. It's got a special, you know, there's secret zipper pocket right here in the back. So again, very secure if you want mm -hmm. to put money in or travel documents or something. So, and that is That's the nice in case rip stop backpack. That is a hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. So, oh my Worth goodness, it. that's a lot of backpacks. And wow, this has been a really long show. We covered how many bags? I think there were 16, 15, wow. 16, 17, if you included uh, all of these. Uh -huh. uh, I want to thank everyone who sent us bags. Thank we you very love much. them. Mm -hmm. They're wonderful. And uh, I got to tell you, there's some, it's nice that there's, like you said, yeah. so many choices. So many variety. Right. For everybody. Did and you have a favorite of that one, of that bunch? Can um, you remember? I think my favorite was this one. Ah, the book. The uh, book that is. Uh, Actually. The Mambo. These, these two. I can't decide between these two. The and book and the STM. I like this one better, the black one better, but I like the color of this one better. Right. And I would have to go with... But, keep those up there. Oh. And I would have to say that my favorites of the two are the Brent Haven... Whoops. Brent Haven and the, messenger and your bag. Backpack. And the... And your backpack. In case backpack. Okay, so, so those, these are our favorites. <laughs> if, we had to pick, if we had to pick four... Right. I think, uh, yeah, those ones are deep ones. the boys ones. Like, <laughs> yeah, I think, well, I think those are girly. Yeah. And I think these are, I don't know Boily. if they're boy but they're certainly <laughs> less feminine. Yeah, thanks for the bags, guys. Those are great. Well, that's all the time we have for the show this week. Please visit our website, www.neo-fight.tv. And uh, we'll be back next week with a whole new episode. We'll see you then. Enjoy us in high definition. And if you have an extra 30 <laughs> seconds, take a look at this. In today's fast-paced world, it's vitally important that young people develop a good understanding of how computers operate and how the internet works. LittleGeeks.org takes donated computers, refurbishes them, and then provides them to underprivileged kids at no charge. It's our goal at LittleGeeks.org to make sure that no kids are left out of the digital revolution. To find out how you can help, please visit www.littlegeeks.org. Thanks a lot.